Hi everyone, I am Mahesh Jairaman, acupressure therapist, health counsellor and co-founder of Sepalika.com. The world of nutrition is currently in the grip of a grain war. Should we eat grains or shouldn't we? Is wheat good or bad? So many nuts can cause allergies. Should we give them up altogether? What's the truth? Well, whenever I'm in doubt, I like to look carefully at history. Fads will come and go, but if something worked for our ancestors, chances are it'll work for us too. Human beings have eaten wheat and nuts and seeds for thousands of years, if not millions, going by some archaeological data. What has changed so badly that we can't eat it anymore? One school of thought is that we have hybrid crops now, different from what our ancestors ate. This means that the crops themselves are different often bred to maximize yield and profits rather than nutrition. There is some merit in this, but when we analyze the degree of genetic change over time, the incidence of allergies doesn't correlate fully with the hybridization of crops. Something else must have also changed. I believe it's the way we prepare and eat grains, seeds and nuts. Every traditional society, whether it's in Europe or America or Asia, has known for thousands of years that all seeds, including wheat grain, are the core essence of the entire plant. It is this part of the plant that will go back into the earth and be responsible for producing a new plant. Naturally, it's jam-packed with nutrition needed to create this new life in the next season. So they knew the amazing value of this part of the plant. Also, through years of experimentation, they realized that the plant would do everything it could to protect its seed from being eaten or destroyed. Remember, the plant is intelligent life as well and wants to survive and propagate itself, not become our lunch. So it has its own defense mechanisms. Most seeds are covered in phytates, chemicals that are meant to protect the seeds from the time they are ripe, usually in the fall, to the time when they are ready to sprout again, which is in the spring. If you don't get rid of these phytates which are coating the seeds before consuming them, they act like anti-nutrients, which means they will harm us, they will prevent us from absorbing nutrition because the plant wants to discourage us from eating the grains or seeds. Almost every traditional society knew that by soaking the seeds in water overnight, or at least for a few hours, they could remove these phytates. That's not all. Research has shown that soaking grains releases the nutrition that's locked in them and actually multiplies it many fold. All cultures in the world also keep soaked grains in slightly warm conditions and the whole mixture is allowed to go slightly acidic using a dash of lime or vinegar over a few hours. Why did they do it? Think about what happens to the seed on the stalk of a plant. Let's say it's ripe and if it's not harvested by man, it falls to the ground where it must stay and wait for spring. So all through winter, it needs to protect itself from birds and animals for which it has the phytates which are covering it. Then it waits for spring, a time when the rain has left the ground slightly moist, it's warm, and as a result of the changing microbes in the season, the soil becomes slightly acidic as well. The seed senses that everything is right and now it is ready to sprout and use all of the locked nutrition inside it to grow into a wonderful plant. So that's exactly what we need to do. If we want to unlock the nutrition powerhouse inside all seeds, including grains, we need to process it in the same way that nature does. First, we soak it to remove the anti-nutrients, we give it warmth, we give it acidity, and it sprouts. Rather than learn all this from nature and implement it, if we instead choose to use modern technology, to turn a, a seed of grain or wheat uh, from just being a seed to a complete loaf of bread within just a two hour process by grinding in all the phytates and chemicals into the flour and then turning it into a loaf of bread, we eat it and we get an allergic reaction. So that's the wrong way to use grains and it's always going to give us nothing but trouble. Instead, use the method that our ancestors taught us, enjoy your grains and we wish you vibrant health and well-being.